X-ray photons, as we know, interact with matter. If they didn't interact with matter, we would not have an image. This material is also covered in our radiation protection module, but bears repeating as it is very important part of our role as radiographers. To get a better understanding of how scatter radiation affects the technologist's dose, let's review the three interactions between X-ray photons and matter that are found at diagnostic levels of radiation. The first is coherent interaction. Coherent interaction occurs with X-ray photons with an energy level less than 50 keV. These photons do not have enough energy to interact with an electron, so they bounce off and scatter in slightly different directions. Because none of the energy is lost to the atom, the scattered photon has the same energy level as the incident photon. This scattered photon has the ability to interact again and in a different manner if it interacts with a different atom. The next interaction is Compton interaction. Compton is what we're typically referring to when we say scatter. This is the type of scatter which will contribute to a technologist's dose. Compton interactions occurs at energy levels greater than 70 kVEP the higher the KVP, the more scatter will be created. Like coherent interaction, in Compton interaction, the X-ray photon interacts with an outer shell electron. Unlike coherent interaction, Compton interaction results in part of the energy of the X-ray photon being lost to that atom. This means the atom has been ionized because the outer shell electron is ejected from the atom in the form of a recoil electron. The X-ray photon changes direction and has a lower energy level than the incoming or incident photon. Again, this scattered photon can go on to interact with a different atom. The photoelectric effect is characterized as absorption. This will result in the radiation dose to the patient. The photoelectric effect or interaction results in the entire energy of the incoming photon being absorbed by the atom as a result of the interaction with an inner shell electron. This interaction results in the ejection of an electron, which means the atom has been ionized. The ejected electron is called a photoelectron. There is no scattered X-ray photon because the whole energy of the X-ray photon has been lost. The photoelectric effect most commonly occurs at energy levels between 50 and 70 KVP. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our all-access pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.